Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Jared Cannonier. Oops. Jared Cannonier versus Kai Varello. Jared Cannonier 17 and 7, 3 and 2 in his last five fights. Just lost, was TKO two months ago. Maybe a bad stoppage, but the referee also gave him a multitude of times not to turn his back, not to go against the cage and shell up. That's the reality. 40 years old, 5'11 with a 77 and a half inch reach. Fighting Kai Brello, who's 16 and 1, 31 years old, 6'1 with a 75 inch reach, 2 inches in height for Kai Brello with a 2.5 inch reach advantage for Jared uh, Cannonier. I'm said Jared Gordon. Kai Brello, though, the, the thing that worries me a little bit in this matchup for Jared Cannonier is the grappling to striking for Kai Brello. When you think he's striking, he's grappling. When you think he's grappling, he's striking. And a guy in Jared Cannonier who's just finished literally two months ago, maybe it'll be three months by that time, but it just it just doesn't make a lot of sense. It doesn't make a lot of sense uh, for Kai to strike with him consistent, consistently. We seen last night with with uh, 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 Steve Ursig. Ursig has the grappling background. He's a decent striker, but he's a grappler that can strike. If you stand too long, what's like he did with Kai Carafrance, you can get caught and you can get finished. That's what happened. He just didn't grapple. He was having success striking, so he continued striking, and there it is. And then he's finished. With Jared Cannonier and Kai being the grappler, and, and Jared can pressure him. He, he is the bigger puncher. But you're going into a fight with when you're a little bit more compromised. He's been hit a lot more in the last couple of fights. He's been he was hurt by Marvin Vittori. And then my Mavov hurt him a couple of times. He did tire out in that fight. I think a lot of that is just him trying to wear down Imavov in the clinch, which at that point you're kind of just helping Imavov because that's where Imavov wants to be. Pressure output is what he should have done. And is just by the when he before he was finished, you see a Jared Cannonier slowing down. Which means his movements aren't there. The big right hand was there for I uh, uh, uh Nurse D Imavov. And it's just, it's kind of the same thing with Kai Varello. Are you going to clinch with him? Probably not. He's probably going to come out and fight like he did against Imovov. The problem with that, and again, Jared does have decent takedown defense, as we know. Kai Varello only really has to threaten Jared so many times. Before Jared thinks, okay, he's going to go for a takedown now. I have to stuff this, and then we can strike. To where Kai can to, can uh, stuff him, fake those, and throw these big punches. The, the knockout against Paul Craig doesn't really mean a lot to me because Paul Craig is very chinny. Nine finishes out of 16 wins for Kai Barella, four of them in the first round. I don't see him finishing Jared Cannonier in the first round. I would see it going pretty far, four, fifth, fourth round or fifth round, six and on the UFC. He's never fought a guy that has this much power. Now he was able to out-wrestle Abu, who's good in the first round, but okay, that's how you beat Abu. Nicholas and Ola Jacek. Couldn't get his game going. He is a big puncher. Grounded him. The difference between uh, Jared with Paul Craig or Jared against Abu or Jared against Michael Owen Chechek. Better cardio, better takedown defense. I don't see Jared being able to stuff the takedowns and still implement his game plan. I see a uh, thing where Kai Barolo is able to get his, take, his clinch game going even if he can't get the takedowns. And make it Jared so hesitant that Kai Barello can find the shot, hurt him, possibly get a submission or a TKO. Long story short, Kai Barello by finish. I'd love to see Cannonier get a knockout, but I don't want to see it against Barello. And at 40, but the way that he lost against Imavov two months ago, you're not doing yourself any favors. I understand you're 40 and you need to continue fighting, but you were TKO'd. You were hurt really badly, probably concussed, let's be honest. Should be back in here right now. Now, November, December, I still don't really like, but you gotta take that time for you to let your mind and your brain heal. That's the reality. You might feel fine, but you're not. And Kai Brello has enough power to at least hurt Cannonier and find that submission. Kai Brello, by submission, or by finish, really. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, let me know you're picking. Peace.